the fact that we get subpopulations that let's say become isolated inbred and accelerate genetic degeneration there's local genetic degeneration genetic entropy which applies to the population population level genetic degeneration for example the mutation rate is roughly 100 new new mutations per person per generation there are 7 to 8 billion people on the planet that's 800 billion new mutations entering the population today so genetic entropy is the fact that every Generation is a little bit more mutant than the previous generation, and selection is so limited, it can't see the majority of those mutations. So what do they do? They build up and they degenerate. They're, they're taking things the wrong way for fish-to-fisherman evolution to be true. Is genetic entropy an accepted technical term in the evolutionary literature? No. Genetic degeneration is genetic entropy is uh, was coined by Dr. John Sanford. Very so well respected. It's, it's a, it's a, so, it's a, so it's a creationist term. But he's published in the peer-reviewed literature. Yes, Tony, has he published has he published his findings on genetic entropy in the peer-reviewed literature? Yes, no. he's got many papers in the peer-reviewed literature. Tony, that's a different. Think, that's answering Tony, a different the question. Of the year what a politician a answer. Yes, he has. Name um, one where? paper. Please provide the please provide the citation. Well, I want to see if you're informed, Tony. Name a single paper written by Dr. John Sanford in the conventional literature. We must. Um, I can't. There you we go. Must. Uh, exactly. You're now, uninformed. You, now. Really equipped for this debate. We must move we to the next one. Better debaters than you guys. 